Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Deborah Lee at Broadway Family Karate. We are in week 10 of the spring term, and tonight we will be looking at fundamental A-Day material. Now week 10 is actually our second stripe testing week, our silver stripe. So the material we'll be working on today is what you'll need to be working on for your second stripe. You'll need to pick an A-Day lesson and a B-Day lesson that you either want to provide by video or a written description of what you like about that particular technique. So please be keeping that in mind as you're watching tonight. You'll want to think about which one of these you like and want to demonstrate or discuss for your second strike. We will be looking today at self-defense kata number one. We will be looking at our backhand strikes. Then we will also be looking at the wedging block that we've been working on. So let's go ahead and get started by bowing in together. Sharyut. Kine. Tenets of Taekwondo begin. Courtesy, humility, integrity, perseverance, self-control, indomitable spirit. Kine. All right, let's start with our backhand strikes for our warm-up tonight. Let's go left side forward in a wedge guard. We'll be doing two strikes with our backhand strike, just like we've been doing. One, two for each count. All right, get ready and go. Back to your wedge. Two. Back to the wedge. Three. One more. Four. Good. Let's go ahead and switch sides. <clears throat> still doing backhand strikes, still on our wedge. And one. Good. Two. Good. Three. Nice. Four. Good. Now, we're going to go ahead and look at that combination that we started last week. So we're in our wedge guard again, left side forward. We're going to do the open hand and back hand. It'll look like this. Open, back. All right? Let's try this together. Go ahead and get into position. And open, back, back to your wedge. Two, open, back, wedge. Three, open, back, wedge. One more. Open, back. Back, wedge. Good. Same thing, other side. We started with this back hand. And one, open, back, wedge. Two, open, back, wedge. Three, open, back, wedge. Four, open, back, wedge. This one's new. If you're still struggling with it, that's okay. We're just warming up. All right, we're going to go also ahead and look at our wedging block in our warm up. Let's go left side forward, nice tight fist, in at the side. We're going to come up, out, back in, again, in, up, out, in, up, out, in, up, out. Good. Switch sides. Got our right leg forward now in our nice front stance. Hands in at the side. So we're in, up, out. In, up, out. In, up, out. One last one. In, up, out. Good. We're going to keep it there for the warm-up. Let's go ahead and stretch. Over to this side. Good. Take it to the other side. Hope you guys are getting out to enjoy some of this pretty sunshine we've had. Definitely a lovely spring here in East Tennessee. Let's take it up really tall. Up on your tiptoes, fingertips reaching to the ceiling. Good. Let's go ahead and take that down to the floor. Feel this stretch up at the back of your legs and in your low back. Good. Let's bring it up. Let's put our hands on our low back. And we're going to bend back just slightly. Don't want to overdo this one. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and work on those rotators. So we're going to take our twist from the middle towards the side. We're reaching out to elongate those muscles, but the real trick here is to make sure you're turning from the middle as you're doing this. Good. We're going to take that higher now, so up towards the ceiling. Still working that rotation, just a little bit different. Again, the, the reaching up really elongates those muscles. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and stick our right arm out 
can use that other arm to scoop underneath, pull in. Nice, same thing other side. Left arm, scoop in. Good for the shoulders up in here. All right, let's go ahead and take that right arm up and behind and using that left just to pull gently. Make it a deeper stretch. Same thing other side. Good. Let's go ahead and link those fingers. Press out, thumbs down. Really work on extending, stretching and lengthening those muscles. Take that up towards the ceiling. Awesome. Hands by your side. Show you. Connect. Okay, it's an A day. That means we're going to be looking at our pattern self-defense kata number one. Now, we're still looking at power, but with power, you still need to make sure you're doing good technique. If you're doing it quickly or you're doing it powerfully, but you're not doing it well, still not going to be effective. Um, not going to look nice either. You don't want it to be sloppy. You don't want it to be rushed. You simply want it to be a little faster, but with good technique. We're going to do this two times today going to count you through the first time and then the second time we're going to do that no count version where you can work through at your own pace. You're welcome to watch me and stick with me but you can also do that at whatever pace you'd like to. Ideally that's what we're always working towards is you being able to do these patterns at your own pace just knowing what comes next and making that happen. All right so let's go ahead and get in position here for self-defense kind of number one. Take a deep breath. Get yourself ready. This will be with a count. And begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and back to the beginning position. Okay. So again, with the count, kind of a moderate speed. I'm going to go ahead and do this again, a little bit faster, no count. Do whichever you feel comfortable. Feel free to watch the video over again with whichever version you feel is the right level for you. Let's go ahead and get back into the beginning stance. Take a deep breath. Good. Begin. If you haven't tried it, do. I like to add noise. If you're comfortable with that, make sure you do that as well. All right, self-defense kata number one. I think you guys are doing a great job at that. Now, let's look at our next technique, backhand strikes. Ms. Dumberly, would you join me? We're gonna start stationary with these. We're going to be using our clapper target. Use whatever you have. If you have a partner to work with, beautiful. If not, practice in the air. That's okay. For these first few, just find your target. It's good enough. Backhand portion. So let's go ahead and try that together. Get set up. I am left side forward if you'd like to join me left side. All right. We're going to do, of course, our backhand. One, two, and let's go. Go. Those are going well. We're going to go ahead and add a little motion. So my partner's going to rotate. Do that separately. 
And when she brings that target up, I'm going to backhand strike. And I'm also going to add a no. So she'll bring it up and I'm going to say no, no. I'm going to track her with my wedge guard. That's what you want to do is keep your wedge to your bad guy. So we're going to go ahead and do that. If you've got a partner, please go ahead and join us. So Ms. Everly, you'll just bring that up when you're ready. Rotating around. Go! 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 Go far. Now that is the um, the moving version. You're welcome to practice that more if you'd like to. Um, do be careful when you're moving in your circle. Try not to cross your feet. I felt like I did that a little bit. It's easy to kind of get lost with where all the moving parts are. But do be careful that you're just shifting. You're just doing your rotation here, pivoting instead of crossing your feet. Very important to keep in mind as you're moving. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a look now at that combination. So Ms. Everly, if you'll come back up with your proper target, please. So this is going to be the open hand backhand we did in warm up. So I am left side forward. It's going to be open back. You're working with the same hand. Open back. Back to your wedge. We're going to keep this one stationary, but go ahead and join me. Get into your wedge guard, please. For each count, open and back, back to your wedge. And one. Find that target first where you get too powerful. Two. Three. Four. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides on this one, please. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to switch sides. We haven't practiced this one a whole lot. I want you to get to practice on both sides. Same thing, it's going to be, excuse me, it's going to be open, back. All right. And one. Open, back, wedge. Okay? Two. Open, back, wedge. Three. Open, back, wedge. Four. Open, back, wedge. Just like that. This was fairly new. Take your time. Watch it over and over if it helps. Thank you, several. All right. Self defense caught a number one. Backhand strikes. Throwing it a little bit of that combination with the open hand strikes. Now the last thing we're looking at for our A days is going to be the wedging block. We'll look at that very quickly together, then we'll bring our partner back up. Let's go into a nice front stance. Nice tight fist, bringing in those in the side. I'm left side forward. We're going to have it in, up, out. In, up, out. We'll switch legs very quickly. Right side forward, otherwise it's the same. Here, here, here. Now, as we're working with our partner, we're going to want to make sure that we're getting away at the end of that. So we'll be practicing that with our partner. Come on up, Ms. Everly. <clears throat> we're going to start just by reviewing what it looks like with your partner involved. So, thank you, Ms. Everly. If you'll go ahead and do the um, double grab here on the shoulders that we've been working with, this is what your partner's doing. Your hands are in, we're in our <clears throat> front stance, right side forward. We're just coming here and here with our wedging block, just to get them off of us. Let's try that again. Partner's going to go ahead and grab you as you ask. Up, out. It's a nice, firm push close to the wrists. One more time, let's practice it with our bad guy, here and up. Now, we're going to go ahead and add on to this a little bit. We're going to make sure we're getting away, we're going to add our voice, and we're going to let our bad guy attack at their leisure. So instead of you asking, they'll just get to reach out, you'll get to respond. So let's show this one time. So I'm here, I'm in a front stance, you can go either side forward that you'd like. He's going to attack me. No! But you can yell, um, back off, let go but make sure you're using your voice. I'm going to continue to say no. I like that one. So go ahead and set up with your partner. 
In a front stance, hands in at your side. We can attack them when they're ready. No! No! I'm going to switch legs just because I've had one side forward, so I'm going to make sure I'm using both sides here. No! Good. She, got, she did a good job that time. She surprised me. No! Now, because of the way we're doing this attack, this is also what you can even do with your eyes closed. This isn't something we can do all of the time, but we can go ahead and maybe try that with this one. As soon as you're grabbed, open your eyes. But let's go ahead and give that one a try. So you won't know exactly when they're grabbing you, but when they do, open your eyes and execute all of this. Eyes closed. No! Good. One more time. Eyes closed. No! Good. Thank you, Ms. Dabrowski. So that's the wedging block. I think the real important thing here to remember is a nice firm push. Um, at the end of it, of course, you are getting away. That's always a really important part of anything we're doing in second stripe. Excuse me. In second stripe. But everything we're doing in self-defense. So make sure you're using your voice as well. Again, always make sure you're shuffling safely to get out of the situation. Now, that's all of our material today. Self-defense kata, backhand strikes, and the wedging block. Again, we're second strike testing this week. Think about which of these things you really like, which things you think you're best at. Make sure you do a video or an email to Mr. Booker to either show you doing that technique or discussing what you find interesting about it, things you find challenging about it, just to let him know you've been working on it and that you have some thoughts in your own head about what you've been doing. You'll also want to make sure you look for an email from Mr. Booker to your family about another thing you'll need to do for your strike test. There's going to be a portion of the uh, Power You for Teasing from Speak Up and Get Along, as well as a question to answer um, if you're doing the Indomitable Spirit um, readings with Mr. Booker that you'll need to answer for part of your strike test. So please follow up with that email from Mr. Booker for those details to make sure you get in everything you need for your second strike. But thank you guys so much for joining me. Let's go ahead and bow out together. All right. Sure you can I? Student Oath Forgive. I pledge to be a champion of freedom and justice. I pledge to observe the tenets of Taekwondo. I pledge to respect my instructors and my fellow students. I pledge never to misuse Taekwondo. I pledge to build a more peaceful world. I appreciate you guys being here. Good luck on your second strike. We believe in you. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Take care.